Good evening, YouTube friends and family. This is Laura. And today I just wanted to do a, um, a short encouragement blog. And I have a very important question for you today. That question is, do you know your worth? And if you do, how do you know your worth? If you answer no to the question, what is it that's stopping you from knowing your worth? Well, what does knowing your worth entail? Knowing your worth entails a healthy self-confidence and self-esteem. Knowing your worth is the ability to go after your dreams and pursue your dreams. Knowing your worth is knowing that you have a purpose in life, that you were created with purpose. And knowing your worth is going after that purpose, knowing that you can fulfill your purpose. That's the beginning of it all. Knowing your worth is knowing that you have a purpose and it's not thinking that you're better than anyone else, but also, get this, it's not thinking that you're less of anyone else either. It's looking at yourself as an equal where you can stand toe to toe and eye to eye with anyone and you can compete knowing that you have what it takes to compete with the best of them. Well, what happens when we don't know our worth? What prevents us from knowing our worth? Well, sometimes not knowing your worth is staying inside of this box or staying in this position that others have constructed for you is staying inside of a safe box, a safe box where you feel comfortable, you're complacent, um, you know, others have told you that this is the place in which you need to stay, this is the position in which you need to stay in, that staying here in this place, it's, it's a place of safety, um, it's a place of familiarity, okay? It's a very familiar place, and it's a familiar place for you and the people that have placed you in this safe box. It's a place where the doubters tell you, well, what if? What if you fail at what you're attempting to do? What if other people laugh at you? You need to stay in this safe box because of the opinions of what other people may think about you. So we stay in this safe box constructed by others. And inside of this safe box, others have projected their fears, their shame, and their guilt onto you. And you take it, and you wear it, and you receive it and you take the key that they've given you and you unlock the door to the safe box in which they told you, go and stay inside of this safe box. Keep coasting along in life, keep doing the same thing. And this is the safe box that you should be happy in. Because you know what? I've tried what you're trying to do and it, I, didn't, I didn't make it. I didn't succeed. Others have tried it before you and they failed. Well, my answer to that is, number one, so what if others have failed? And so what if your dream that you're attempting to accomplish, so what if you fail at it the first time? So what if you fail miserably? You get up and you keep trying. There's an old cliche, an old saying that says, if you fail... Try and try again. Attempting to pursue your purpose and live out your dreams, you're going to encounter some setbacks. You're going to encounter some obstacles. You may fail, but so what? Get back up, dust yourself off, and keep trying. There's not a successful story in the world. There's not a successful person in the world that has not encountered failure or setback. Well, so what if they laugh at you? So, 
They laughed and talked about Jesus Christ. Do you think you're above being laughed at? No, you're not. What if people think that, you know, what if their opinion of you is, is not so good? So what? Their opinion of you is none of your business. This is your life. This is your purpose. Do you realize that there is so much potential in the grave? People who had potential to do great things in life were created with to do great things in life. And if you want to find potential, visit the graveyard. There's lots of potential in the graveyard. People who didn't pursue their dreams. People who stayed inside of the safe box. People who allow other people's opinions and projections to stop them from achieving their goals. My friend, I don't want that to be you. I've been there, done that, and I've got the t-shirt. You don't need other people's support. You don't need the opinions of others. Greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. All you need, my friend, is to take God by the hand, believe him at his word, trust in him, take God by the hand, okay? Believe that he has a purpose for your life, okay? Obtain his favor. He'll give you favor with both himself and man. And my friend, take your wings and you can fly with it. He's given you everything that you need to make it in this life. He has not left you without a comforter. He has not left you without help. Whatever God has given you to do, he will give you the ability to succeed at it. He will give you the tools you need to make it. So why fear? Fear not, my friend. And so what if you don't have the support of others? So what if you don't get the okay from someone else? You don't need their support. You don't need their okay. All you need is the favor of God and to take a hold of the hand of God and to pursue the direction and the purpose that he has created you for. And all you need is his insight and his wisdom. And all you have to do is acknowledge him in all of your ways and he shall direct your paths. And the path that he will direct you to, my friend, it will be a good path. It will be a prosperous path. And he will cause men to do favors for you. Even some of the very people that don't like you, he will cause them to pour into your bosom, to the overflow. And they will wonder, why am I blessing this person? But that's God. That's the favor of God. My friend, do you find yourself being the encourager to everyone? Or the problem solver for everyone? But then when you need encouragement, when you need comfort, when you need a problem solved, there's no one to be found. So what do you do with that? You encourage yourself. Sometimes we're harder on ourselves than we are on other people. Sometimes we can find, we can pick up a word of encouragement just like that for someone else. But we also have to learn how to encourage ourselves, my friend. You're worth the same encouragement, the same pat on the back, the same edification. You're worth it. The same, everything that you give to everyone else, take some of that and give it to yourself when you find yourself in a place, when you find yourself at the crossroads. When you find yourself in need of support, edification, encouragement, the same encouragement that, that you would give to a friend, excuse me, you can give that to yourself also. Reach down deep inside. You've had it inside of you the whole time. The whole time you've had it inside of you. So my friend, I just want to encourage you today to know your worth to follow your dreams, to follow your purpose, to pave your way, to pave a path, and to go for it. Allow nothing and no one to stop you. Take God as your partner in everything, and I promise you, you will not go wrong. 
You cannot go wrong when you take God as your partner. He wants to be a partner of everything. He wants to be a part of your life, everything. From the clothes you pick out every morning, to the job that you take, to the friends that you make, to the partner that you choose to marry. He wants to be a part of all of that. He wants to be a part of that, that entrepreneur spirit that you have, that business that you want to start, that book that you want to write. Okay, he wants to be a part of that, an intricate part of that. He wants to give to you like any father wants to give to his children. He wants to give you good things. We have not because we ask not. He loves you with an everlasting love. He has nothing but good that he sees in you and he sees for you. Your future holds great things, my friend. There is greatness inside of you. You got to believe. And you got to step out and you got to try. Leave all that other stuff behind. Step out of the safe box. Free yourself. Break out of it. Don't allow anyone to clip your wings. Take your wings and fly, my friend. This is your life. This is your life. This is your chance. Every day that you wake up on this side of the earth is an opportunity to do better and to do what your purpose has called you to do, the purpose that you've been called to do. But only you can do that. There are some things in life, my friend, that God wants you to do that only you can do. There are some people out there that he wants you to touch that only you can touch. There are people out there that need what you have. But if you take your talents and you tuck it away, then those people that need it, they don't get it from you. Okay? So stay encouraged, my friend. Know your worth. You have worth. You have value. You are somebody. You can do this. So that's my encouraging word for today. Okay? So if you enjoy the, the content of my YouTube channel, please like, subscribe, share. And until we meet again, my friend, bye-bye.